Hi, and welcome back to our uh, email Twitch series. So uh, let's just do a basic overview of what we learned last time. Um, we want PNG format for our layers or pictures, uh, transparent background, background. Um, we want sizes between uh, 496 and 112 pixels, and it's a square uh, square image. So you know, uh, same size, same height, and same width. Right. So let's do the range. Uh, let's see, one, two, and 496. Um, we're probably just going with 112. Um, just to make our lives easier and so that way we don't overcomplicate this here but again you can go as high as you want just as long as it's within that range pixel size um so png transparent background range size uh no plagiarizing let's see uh dirty okay but not on twitch twitch uh you can do that on other stuff and on your own um, you know, here it's just the work, uh, the workflow. So how, how we use this is really up to you. Um, are we missing anything? Let's see. Uh, oh, uh, file size cannot exceed one megabyte. Limit to one megabyte. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let's get started, and we're gonna do Pixel Edit. I'm gonna give you a simple overview right now here, uh, and then on, in an other later videos, I'm gonna give you a more extensive um, 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 use case for Pixel Edit on our art stuff. But this is just like, hey, how do I use this to create our art? Like really fast, it's a simple overview, and how to export um and scale stuff all right so let's get started let me bring up pixel edit so pixel edit you can find it online it's they have a free portable version for linux no so for for windows and mac so you're limited in those two if you want linux i'm sorry uh but yeah okay so you could you open it up you go to file new uh, number of tiles wide so this is like the amount of uh, pictures in a folder structure that we're going to create so let's say there's the head and there's the eyes we have two folders and in each one we want um, like two pictures I mean two pictures or uh, yeah two files so two folders two two, uh, two files in there um, yeah Mm, no, no, no. Yeah, let's go 112. Yeah, we're going to keep it at 112, 112. But again, you could go higher. Curry 8. Um, let's see. Go smaller here. This is our tiles. So whatever whatever happens here, uh, over here, happens over here. But you have to, like, link it. So then create another tile. Link it to that one. Create another tile. Link it to that one, and then create another tile, and link it to that one. Um, oh, actually, let me delete all these. So, link that tile, and then create another tile, and then link it to the over here. Now let's go to this over here circle. This is the color selection, and create kind of like a head shape. And we're just going to fill out with a simple color. So pinkish, right? And then to make our lives easier, because these are the head shapes, go to this tile right here and duplicate it. And then set it up to link it here. So then when we go back and make some changes, it goes accordingly to the tile. And it's, it's less work like that. Uh, OK, so like this one, that's that. Uh, let's see, we're going with an eye. Let me 
let's see. We're going to do white. Okay. Look a little closer there. Oh, it's black. Okay. That's what. Little highlights. All right. That's good. Do a other circle here. Let's make this black and kind of like a brownish color there. All right. Now we got our eye. And just so we know, hey, um, does this line up correctly? So when we layer it, it all looks good. What we could do is go to document, resize canvas, then add another width here, or we can do even a, a height like that, resize. That just does it like that. Actually, let's do it the other way around. Document, resize canvas, go down. And then we're just going to copy this with selection. Control C, Control V. Okay. What would be easier is, I'm sorry, copy, put this over here, and add a different color. Right, so we're gonna copy this, duplicate it, then select over here, rather than copy and do all that manual work. Um, and then we're gonna take the eye, make sure we get it as fast as we can here. Control C, D. There we are. Okay, so everything lines up pretty good. We don't have to worry about anything else. All right, and then once we're done with this, we resize it again. Go back. Oh, go down. So we get rid of this. Okay, so we created our layers. Um, this The side weights represents our folders. So this is just for the, the head. This is just for the eyes. Okay, now that we've created our layers for hash lips, we want to export all of this, right? So we're going to do um, export, and we're going to do export tile set, export tiles as separate files, PNGs. Make sure it's the right place. Let's see. Downloads. All right. Save it here. Save. And then when we go to our downloads, every single file is going to be there. And let's select it. Looks pretty good. Let's see, right click it properly because we got to check that it's the right size after we export. So 112 by 112. Sweet. All right. I think one last thing I forgot or I need to show you is how to scale in case you do want to do the 112. Uh, 56 and the 20 by 28. Uh, again, we're just you know doing the range between 112 to 496 for our sizes and letting Twitch just do things uh, like scaling it for us. So resize tiles, resize oh center tile, and then sample tiles, and then we're gonna do like uh, 56, 56, and okay see everything's resized it, it is a little blurry and if you want to like add some maybe move it around a little bit so that sorry touch it up you can that is entirely up to you again since you're working from um, high to low I would suggest making the, like the black lines the perimeter a little thicker so yeah uh, thicker distinction in your lines for your layers as you if you're going to scale down for the three size input for uh twitch all right so that's it for um pike so edit just a simple overview everything you really need to know um and next we're going to move on to inkscape or gimp